Hi everybody, it's Mr. Red and welcome to Banished. This game is available on Steam. I'll leave a link in the description below. We are currently playing on version 10.4, building uh, build 14, 11, 23. So I've never played this and of course you guys have probably seen a lot of Banished plays, but I haven't really got into it. So I want to learn how to play it and I want you all to Follow along with me. So let's go into tutorials and figure out how to play this game correctly. So getting started. So we're going to learn the basics, basics of the game, including camera movement, constructing base, basic buildings, assigning workers to jobs, starting a new location. And we'll go all the way through these first couple of things right here. So let's select this one and let's get going. All right. So, ooh, I like the graphics. Oh, well, we're going with a lot of people here. They all got little... Houses above their name. So let's see. Welcome to Banish. In this game, you control a group of exiled travelers who decide to restart their lives in a new land. You'll have to help them su to survive. So click press the next continue. Okay. Anytime during this tutorial. All right. Access the options. Okay. With that window. Okay. First, get familiar with. Oh. Okay. Uh, 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 here. All right. You can also move. Use a mouse to the edges of the screen to move the camera. Yeah, all right, there we go. That looks good. You can rotate the view by pressing Q. Oh, that goes to the left. And E, which takes it to the right. And you can also rotate the view by middle mouse button. Okay, all right, that's good. Okay, thank you. You can zoom the camera. Oh, insert, insert, okay. Insert, delete. Oh, 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 delete. There we go, okay. Or using uh, the mouse, okay. Got that. You can also use a pitch by using page up, page down, okay. All right, I like that. Okay, that's new. All the keyboards are configurable and modified the options menu. Not your film movements, time to start playing. The people you control need three things to survive shelter, food, and a way to keep warm in the winter. All right, might notice they have the icon of loading of the heads. This means that the town's folks don't have a place to live. You provide, a, provide them with a place to live. I'm building a home for them. So let's click on this one. Wooden house. Oh. All right. We're going to collect. Need a place of building. We'll leave a footprint where it will be built. To get the townsfolk to start construction, you'll have to collect wood for the structure and stone for the foundation. All right. Click next. You can take down, tr cut down trees and remove rocks from the landscape. Pressing the destruction button. So, oh, all right. So, drag and drop, uh, drag and move over, I guess. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, it puts a little. All right, so they're going to do that. Towns hold the heck to the area and start removing rocks. While they're busy, you can make a stockpile where the citizens will store logs, stone, iron, and firewood. Select a storage. All right, log stockpile. Oh, okay, it's going to go right there. So, let's do that. The town folks will move the harvested rocks and trees to the stockpile once they're um, once there are materials in the stockpile. The people will move logs from stone construction locations. Okay, select the tools. Uh, good job. Move to the place and some jobs requiring specialized workers. In this case, the construction you need to assign builders. Okay, assign jobs to citizens. Try to assign two builders. Okay, one, two. Those construction of houses. One house isn't enough, though. You'll ha need three more houses. So let's uh, build three more houses. Oh, move the houses to highlighted area. I can't get. How do you do that? Maybe able to rotate the houses with T and R. Okay, so we got that. T or R. So we got that. Oh, it says another one right there. Okay. All right. Takes a while for people to do all the jobs, so you have to hurry. You change the speed of the game. Okay, let's take this up to five times. All right. Try getting used to modifying the game speed. You can slow down, pause, resume, speed up the simulation when all houses built. The tutorial will continue. Let's bring it up to 10. All right, let's get in here and see what people are doing. They're taking out those streets. Oh, they're building the first house. Oh, this is going to be nice. There's the chimney going up. Fireplace is ready. Oh, they're grabbing materials. Oh, yeah, they're getting those logs out of the way. All right, there's the first house. Look, there's a there's a door. That's nice. Oh, there's deer out here. Oh, that's nice. So they're getting materials out of here. What's in here? Okay, there we go. All right, so that's nice. Oh, they're working on the houses. Here they come. 
Oh, and it's raining too. Oh, I hate that. When you're building in the rain, you're outside. Oh, oh, little guy. Don't know what he's gonna do. He's either got a saw or he's got a hammer. Okay. Oh, what's this? I don't know what that is. Okay, well, we'll find out here in a minute. So we got all the people, they're working their butts off. All right, great. You built houses for all the towns, folks. That need, that may have seemed like a lot of work for a few houses, but now you know how to build anything. To build a structure, place a building footprint. The citizens will clear the area. They collect enough resources to build the structure. As long as there are citizens assigned to builders, they'll take care of the rest. All right, people are going to need food. Uh, they can hunt, gather, and people close to starving to death. The hunger icon will build above their heads, okay? Since the fun this town is near a river, the easiest way to quickly generate food is to build a fishing dock. Select food production from the toolbar. All right. Fish. Oh, okay. T and R. T. Okay, that brings that over here. Let's line that up and hit. Most buildings that produce food or other resources require workers. You can sign fishermen. Okay, pressing that. How many fishermen? Uh, assigned four fishermen. Okay, one, two, three, four. That leaves us with four laborers. You may notice this icon above some of the citizens' head, the question mark. It means that the workers you just assigned don't have a place to work. As soon as the fishing dock is complete, they'll start working there. The icon will disappear. Okay, we can close this, it says, and we just wait, and it says to put the time. So let's put it back up to 10. Oh, wow, look at them go. There we go. We're going to have fishing. That means we're going to be able to take care of food. This is nice. Look at how the water just flows. I like that. Look at that. There we go. All right. If you build roads, people will move slightly faster as they move from place to place. Select the wheel thingy. And that's a dirt road. Okay, so we're going to do a dirt road all the way to there. Oh, did it just make a dirt road? Yes, it did. That cuts it between the houses. It goes down there. All right. The same builders that construct buildings will prepare the road for use. After they perform construction, the townsfolk will move faster when traveling on roads. And as the town grows and workers produce food and other resources from many locations, it's useful to see an overview of what the town has available. As you can find in the overview window. So, overview. All right. Okay. Not, well, they don't have any alcohol. Thank goodness. All right, average hearts and happiness that starts with current health. Okay, when food and other consumables goods are produced, they need to be stored somewhere. Okay, so we need a storage barn. So we go storage barn, and it wants us to put it there. Oh, we got to turn it. There we go. Let's line this up. There we go. Oh, do we have to turn it again? There we go. All right, so it needs 32. If you look at the overview too, you can see that there aren't enough logs to build left to build the storage barn. You'll have to cut down more trees for construction. So let's go here. Let's go. Oh shoot! All right. Okay. Let's go back here. Let's go to right there. People also need a way to stay warm in the winter. This the easiest way to do that is to cut logs out of firewood. Right. To do this, you'll need a place for a woodcutter to work. Start by selection resource production. So we select that tree. We're going to get a wood chopper. He needs to be turned. So T. There we go. Let's get him in there. Taint. If the townsfolk are in danger of freezing to death, this icon will appear above their heads. If they are overly cold, the people will return to home or go to the closest warm building they can to find. This icon also appears will also appear over homes that don't have any firewood available. Okay. Oh, and it says do the clock. So let's go up to 10. Let's zoom in here. People are working their butts off. There they are. They're dragging things over. Let's see that. And those deer. Look at that. If I had a, you know, if I was a hunter, I'd be taking up that deer. That's a, that's a mighty buck there. Look at him. Okay. That is really nice. Okay, so we're getting some stone. We're getting some logs over here. We still got some over here. I don't know what to do with that. Oh, here we go. We got three. Three good stalls so far in this barn. Oh, and it's raining again. Oh, dear. People are going to get hungry. Speaking of hungry, how's our fish going? Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here's our storage barn. It's getting up. We got a barn raising going, folks. Here it comes. Oh, oh, this is the woodcutter. So he's going to take the logs that we get from earlier, and he's going to chop them down so people have firewood for the chimneys that are... 
somehow working already. Hmm. Okay. That's good. All right. Let's get this around. Oh, wow. That is nice. So we got this guy in here in the barn. Got a woodcutter. Okay. You can always assign workers to work at professions tool. You should also change the number of workers when examining the details. So we can start clicking the wood. Okay. All right. Assign wood one, one woodcutter. So we got one. There we go. Now we'll start producing fire. He or she will move logs and stockpiles. Okay. Click next. Now the storage farm is built. The cart that the people arrived with is no longer needed. That would be this guy. So you can remove it. Going here. Taking this. Going here and here. All right. It says to take to the time. So let's do that. All right. With some maintenance and a little luck. Town, small town like this will survive many years. The children will grow up, become workers, and have children of their own. New houses can be built, and the town can continue to expand. All right. There we go. We're looking at that. Read help references. All right. Skip to the next tutorial. Next. All right. So we're going to go over here. All right, as the town grows, additional specialized buildings can help make survival easier. In this tutorial, build work areas for blacksmiths, tailors. All right. So we're going to need a blacksmith. Let's turn him. Oh, he's facing the wrong way. Let's touch him on the road there. It says, uh, start by pressing uh, five times. Now, tailor is made. Oh, tailor needs to be moved. There we go. Right there. Oh, and then one of herbalist too. Okay. And what's this? Place a forester's log. Lodge. Let's turn him. This is a forest log. Forester. Okay. Now the building's a place you can sign workers for each of them. Okay. So let's go over here. How many does it want for the blacksmith? One. How many for the tailor? One. One herbalist. And three foresters through three. Okay. Now it says to speed her up. Okay, so we're going to speed her up. Since the blacksmith is a complete. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so we're going to get the blacksmith going. Everybody's just working. Oh, all workers need tools to efficiently do their jobs. If a citizen doesn't have a, citizen doesn't have a, good, have a tool, falling icon will appear above their head. Okay. Tools eventually wear down and need to be replaced. Okay. All right. Click on the blacksmith, blacksmith building. Okay. We'll use logs and iron to make new tools. Here you can see the inventory of what the blacksmith has in storage. We're making tools. Run out materials. Okay. You can also control how many tools to make. Okay. You can make 50. Okay. All right. You can enable disable work location. Okay. Turn it on and off. So he can produce steel. Or iron, he just needs coal, okay. Right, click the tailor building, okay. During the winter months, the townsfolk stay warm by occasionally returning to their heated homes. With a tailor, you can help the workers ward off the cold and stay longer outside longer by crafting better clothing. Tailor can use leather or wool to make clothes or a combination of both to make the best clothing. Oh, wool coat, leather coat, or a mix for a nice warm coat. You run out of the needed materials, the tailor won't be able to work. When this occurs, the following icon up here above the building. Okay. Since the herbalist isn't complete yet, let's go ahead and speed up. Okay. Oh, click the herbalist building to view its details. The herbalist will collect herbs from the surrounding forest and will help the townsfolk stay healthy. The yellow circle, which is right there, uh, on the ground around the building shows the area and that the herbalist will search for herbs. Citizens need a variety of food to stay healthy, such as meat, veggies, uh, vegetables, fruits, and grains. If the town folk are not healthy, they are more prone to disease. Herbs collected by the herbalist can be used to help keep the town folk healthy if their diet is poor. Okay. Herbs usually don't grow, only grow near old trees. It's something to keep in mind when place an herbalist building. Okay. Click the forester. So we got forester. He's got some stuff. Rather than constantly clearing areas of trees to produce firewood, workers at Forest Large will manage the forest for you. Workers will plant new oh new trees and old by cutting down the old trees. Okay. Oh, the 
soil circle ground is the area of effect okay you can enable and disable the cutting of trees when cutting is disabled no trees will be cut down you can also enable or disable the planting of trees with planting all right Forcers will also remove rock and ore. Okay, good. By using these buildings, you can help make sure the citizens have tools. Warm clothes of winter, good help, and replenish the forest. Click the next. All right, let's go to the next part. Well, that was fairly easy, folks. All right, so this part, there may there are many ways to produce food for the citizens of your town. Hunting, fishing, and gathering can be used to harvest food from the environment, or you can clear the land and plant orchards, grow crops, and raise livestock. Okay, so before food can be produced, you need to construct buildings to create areas for food production. You can start by placing a pasture for livestock. Okay, so we got livestock coming in. All right, that should be right. While a pasture is being built, you can place other buildings, a hunting cabin. Okay. All right, so let's hit T to switch it around. There we go. Oh, uh, similar to hunters, gatherers, search and collect food that is growing in the forest okay oh that one's set in the right spot uh farmers can work in a field to grow crops place one to select select crop field from the menu by pressing grain or there we go let's put that right there farmers can also work in an orchard that produces fruit and nuts okay so orchard let's select orchard and put right there this crop field is currently disabled as indicated by the following icon. It looks kind like of like a stop sign. Select the crop field by selecting it. Okay, so let's do um, potatoes. You also need farmers in the field. Increase the number of workers to three. One, two, three, two, three. Okay, harvest directly before. Okay, new seeds in autumn. They'll be ready for the harvest. It provides what yields. Meters show how mature the plants are growing. They can be used to gauge to determine how much food we produce. You can disable or enable to work. Okay, all right, cool. Like the crop field, the orchard will be able to, will be disabled until you pick a type of tree to plant. Select the orchard. All right, let's see. Let's get some apples and increase to six. All right, farmers will plant trees and they'll grow over time. It may take several years for the trees to produce fruit. Really? Normally, farmers har will harvest fruit in the autumn. But you can direct them to harvest the fruit early by pressing the harvest button. You can also cut down all the trees in the orchard for wood or when you want to produce a different type of fruit. You can disable or enable work in the orchard by toggling the work button. Okay, after planting, the yield meter will show how mature the growing fruit is. Remember that trees need several years of growth before they can produce fruit. Select the pasture by clicking on it. Enable use of the pasture first. You will have to select a type of animal. Well, we can only pick sheep. Uh, how many? Number to two. One, one two. Uh, if you want to move all the animals from this pasture into another pasture, you can select the empty button. You can do this half creating the pasture. Hold on. Okay. Split the herd in order to increase the number of animals. You can press the split button to do this. You'll have to, sp to have space in other pastures that can hold the animals. You can disable or enable work at the pasture by toggling the work button. If the pasture isn't work, being worked, the animals will continue to grow, but they won't produce as quickly. All right. If there are too many animals in the pasture, the herdsman will slaughter them for meat. Oh, cool. So we can get food and wool. All right. Yeah. Uh, since the hunting cabin isn't complete, use the time tool. Okay. All right. Let's get let's get the, the hunting cabin ready to go. People out there, come on. Get working. There, finally stop raining. That makes me happy. There we go. Come on. You people got to hurry up. There we go. Let's see what they're doing. Come on. Do -do 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 -do. Can we get this seat? Yeah, there we go. Oh, and it's starting to rain. Click on the hunting cabinet to see its details. Hunters will search for the area around area around the hunting cabin. Uh, search for wild game. In addition to providing meat, hunting deer can provide leather, which can be used by tailors to make clothes. All right, good. Can disable all right we got that at any food producing location control the maximum amount of food to produce okay so let's speed this up a little bit oh click the hunters the gatherers hut because areas around the building in search of food that grows in the forest as long as there are forests nearby gatherers uh, can be a good choice 
Okay, food production gets a town in a town as it provides a variety of foods quickly. Oh, click on the fishing hut. Uh oh, what do we gotta do? Each building that produces goods tracks how many resources that produces a year. Click on the production. Okay, that's production. Uh, the current season is produced 224 and three logs. Okay. Last season, they did 565 fish. Okay. As the population grows, you need to expand food production to keep the citizens from starving. Producing a variety of food types will help keep the citizens happy and healthy. All right. So, next one. Oh, boy. Let's get in here. Uh, trading post tutorial. Okay. The trading post can be used to acquire new crop seeds, fruit seeds, livestock food, and many other items. Once the trading post has been built, different types of merchants will periodically arrive with goods to sell. So we've got our trading post over here. It's pretty darn big. We've got a merchant already in. Let's see what's going on. Trading post has already been built. Click tutorial. Trading post. Okay. All right. Before you can make a trade with the merchant, you need to stock the trading post with the, with the goods you wish to sell. Any resources that, that have been produced by the town can be traded. Since this town has more tools and coats than it normally need, currently needs, you can stock the trading post with these. Set the desired amount of hide coats to 100. 80, 100, okay. Set the number of iron tools to 120. Okay. And it would need four workers. All right. Now we hit the fast forward button and we see what's going on. All right. So we got to wait. We're going to see them coming. Oh, they're already dropping off the iron tools. They already got 100 in there. 120. And we got one high coat. Okay. There we go. 51. Oh, oh. Now that you have some inventory to trade with, click on the trade tab to interact with the merchant. Ooh, we want chickens. How many chickens do we want? We want to buy six chickens. Now increase the number of iron tools. And, okay, until we find enough to cover the cost of the chickens. Oh, we can only do that. We can only get rid of 100. Hey, okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, press the trade button to make the trade. Trade! You can now see the chickens. Oh, yeah, there they are. There's our little chickens. There they are. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, in the post, if you have pasture set up for chickens, they'll move into it. Since you've made a trade, the workers will start refilling the trading post inventory. Purchase. You always, uh, the purchase mode determines if and when the traders will make a trade for you. You can set the maximum number of items to purchase. Okay. Buy items. All right. Set up more and one item to be automatically purchased. You can change the priority. Okay, so if we need logs, we can keep it up here. But if we need coal, we can move it up and get it gets priority. All right. Normally, when a merchant comes to trade, they'll have random assortment of goods rather than relying on a chance to acquire the items you want. You can place custom orders with merchants. Okay. The order mode determines if an order is being placed or if it is a recurring order. Uh, the available items a merchant can bring will be displayed. In, to place an order, click the hi and highlight the items you want. Okay, chickens. Merchants have limited space in the boat, so if you order too many items at once, they may not bring them at all. Uh, the items bought from a custom order will be will cost more than a normal. All right. Trade can be a great way to acquire items that the town is lacking or can yet can't yet provide. This concludes the trade tutorial. Press quit to exit to the main menu. Well, hot darn. I think we're about ready, folks. That was the tutorial for Banished. Again, you can get it on Steam. I'll leave a link in the description below. And uh, tune in next time. We're going to probably get into these and do a couple of episodes. If you like this video, please give it a like. And go ahead and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys soon. Bye, everybody. Goodbye.